Your boy's got a fresh new hat now. Oh yeah, we're in business. Got new boots, got new gloves. Adding some color to the palette. It's happening. Turning in our class quest here. So we just finished up the trial. Aether, the very stuff of life, exists within all living creatures to a greater or lesser extent. Remember this, for it is the most basic law of arcane manipulation. The lessons, however, should be obvious. Keep your distance from your foes. I played a hunter. I know how this works. We are looking so stylish now. We're looking all kinds of comfy. Who do we got here? You got like an onion head. Did you say Thaumaturge? Has this maze just completed a guild trial? I have. Oh man, I'm just towering above these people. I, <laughs> I feel so tall. Uh, unlike real life. Anyway, new pants. Who this? Looking fresh. Look at my shield. My shield is... Must be magical of some sort. It's just kind of floating there. Not really attached. <laughs> Looking fierce. This is what Kev does. He delivers hope to the people. Have a pretzel, dude. This is one of those fakes I was talking about. It's like active events where you uh, you just fight things here. So I guess I'm, I'm the only one here right now. There's Claire. Claire, a woo. Are you gonna, are you gonna help me here? Oh dude, I'm doing like nothing to this guy. Look at that. But we got Talia here helping us. This guy is a beast. What the heck, man? Why am I tanking? I guess I'm the tank. I'm the one with the shield. I got this. Don't worry. Hey, look at that. I think I got a gold medal. That means I was a beast. I'm off to deliver more pretzels. Let's do it, baby. The music is Final Fantasy. Like, you're gonna expect great music, man. Oh, I'm just helping out my papa here, Papa Sean. Looks like a young noble woman has run away from home. We gotta get her to safety. So Papa Sean, I got you. This guy thinks he looks badass. <laughs> Wait till you look at Kev. <laughs> anyway, you're about to enter an instance battle. Instant battles only occur during certain quests and missions. Ooh, ooh. Oh, so tin tree. Voice Hallowed acting. Spirit of my line, forgive my weakness. My failings have cost us dear. Show yourself. <sighs> As you command, O Lilira. This guy has the voice of a Final Fantasy character. Forgive my selfish desire to assure your welfare. I meant uh, like a villain. <laughs> of course, he has the voice of a Final Fantasy character. He is a Final Fantasy character. I don't recall requesting an escort. Simply pretend we never met and continue on your way. We both know I can do no such thing. It isn't safe for you here alone. Is this Talos and Jaffe? This sounds like Talos and Jaffe. Someone let me know. Congratulations on finding our elusive young charge. <laughs> well, you're welcome, Talos and Jaffe. The station master will be eager to thank Lady Lilira's protector in person. Okay, but we're bound to fight something, right? Because we're about to enter an instance. Yeah, here we go. Oh, hello. Who are you? Alas, the station master will have to wait. Let's do it, baby. You Dear and me, boo boo. Lilira. For my sake, please stay out of harm's way. Oh man, she just, she just. Whoop. As for you, dear friend, for Lilira's sake, please stay in harm's way. Hey, it's the mighty Kev you're, you're talking to here. Look at me. I'm a beast. Let's go. Who is this? Are you going to tank for me? Because I don't have my, my square shield anymore. That was literally that big. Level sync. We can read that later. Anyway, I'm gonna get my dots on him first. There we go. This is a Blanga. Hey, Blanga. What it do, Blanga? So good thing we have the handsome stranger tanking for us. Uh, really helping us out here. Oh, here, I have my uh, roll ability. Reduces the target's intelligence and mind. Uh, this, those, those attributes are related to, uh, to like magic stuff uh, from what I read. Anyway, we got him half health. Handsome Stranger is sitting pretty right now. You're looking great, man. There it is. The Belonga is down. Duty complete. Well, Talison, what do you have to say for yourself? Too strong. Too strong. Looking spiffy there, Kev. What is this? What is this little shard that we have here? Oh, we unlocked one. We unlocked something. Oh yeah, those those pixels are <laughs> they're not looking very spiffy. Yeah. It's all good. Feel think. This lady. Now that I unlock something else, am I gonna do more than hear, feel, and think? 
What am I gonna do here? Looking pretty. Crystal Vera. I am Hydaelyn, all made one. Well, hi, Hydaelyn. How are you doing? There once was that shone throughout this realm, yet it hath since grown dim. And as it hath faltered, so hath darkness risen up in its stead, presaging an end to life. For the sake of all, I beseech thee, deliver us from this fate. Putting a lot of pressure on me, right from the get-go, okay? The power to banish the darkness dwelleth in the crystals of light. Journey forth and lay claim to them. Okay, so we gotta get some crystals of light here. I went from putting up flyers to rescuing nobility to now delivering us from darkness. Things are moving quick. They're moving quick. That is... That is massive. <laughs> By thy deeds shall the crystals reveal themselves to thee. Okay, and we just did a deed and... For the light liveth in thy heart. And we, one of the little crystals revealed themselves. A small portion. Ooh, it's getting bright. Go now, my child, and shine thy light on all creation. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. So we're getting a little bit deeper into the story here. That was one of the main quests, or that was the main quest, or one of the progressions of the main quest. So here we are. Yo, man, that, that shirt is is not looking good. <laughs> it's so pixely. Uh, would you mind telling me what that was? If I only knew. A denizen of the Void, at any rate. The Void sent? Yeah, but how? The question isn't how, but who. We're not dealing with bookless bandits. Don't suppose the answer came to you in a dream? If only he knew. No sooner did you fell the beast than you fell asleep. Too much ether, no doubt. Okay, so let's pronounce ether, not aether. Interesting. I hadn't considered the crystal. I must return and report this at once. Later, buddy. I leave Lady Lilira in your capable hands. Got it, dude. How dare you pass me about like a swaddled babe? And you're about the size of a swaddled I shall babe. Return and tell them myself. Yeah, you do that. I got more things to do. I gotta return to the Thaumaturge Guild. Let him know I killed that vulture, no problem. I suspect we shall meet again before long. Okay, we're gonna be friends. I'm uh Until then. I'm excited to have Talison as my friend. I'm pretty sure that's Talison. Look at these turtles though. These turtles look so cool, man. I apologize for causing you undue worry, Papa. I shall refrain from traveling unescorted in the future. I'll escort you back to the city, because that's where I gotta go. Alright, Papa, what you gotta say? Cannot thank hey, no worries, man. I did. It was a fight. Yeah, we, we fought the void with Talison. I see you met Thancred. He's a scholar who spends his days investigating oddities in the ether. Rather too fond of the sound of his own voice for my liking, but perfectly harmless. Okay, turning in the class quest right now. Welcome back. You seem to have done well. Both eyes intact. Yes, I handled the vulture. No problem. Fortune favors the fighter who flings fire from afar. Oh my god, these guys. Fortune favors the fighter who flings fire from afar. I simply love the look of loathing leveled at me by the distant duelist distressed by my deadly downpour. What? <laughs> okay, and this guy's. These guys are cheeky. Kev, your studies appear to be progressing nicely. It won't be long before you dominate the battlefield as an avatar of sorceress destruction. That is what I'm here for. Oh, here comes the uh, alchemist guy. Kokobusi, what are you doing here? You promised. You promised you would teach me next. Well, uh, yes, of course we did, Boosie, but Kev here was most insistent. <laughs> Must be a... Uh, this is the youngest, right? And once again, you brush me aside in the hope that I abandon my heart's desire. Why do you deny me? Because they don't want you to get hurt, man. I hate all of you. No, you don't. You might think you do at this moment. It's all good, man. 
brotherly, brotherly love. That was Kokobusi, our youngest brother. He so dearly wishes to become a thaumaturge like the rest of us, but it simply is impossible. We thought we had convinced him to accept fate's cruel quirks when he entered the Alchemist Guild, but yet he yearns to walk the path of thaumaturgy. That sucks. He needs more midichlorians. The drop rates for just quest items are 100%. Like, you don't have to loot them, and they always drop it. At least thus far, from what I've seen, so... I mean, slice of life, like, you know, you don't have to spend hours killing, um... Um, mobs just to try to get a drop that, you know, the percentage is so low. So, it's pretty nice, like, I'm enjoying it. I found her, I found my friend! Here she is! And she's so strong compared to me. God dang, I got a long way to go. Oh, I you look know. so tiny compared to your character. Yeah, but uh, it's funny because like in cutscenes and stuff or when I'm just talking to people, like they're always just looking up at me. <laughs> Good morning. It's it's a new day. And guess where I'm back in? I ain't back in the world. New cloak. Who dis? All right, we're just knocking out the, uh, the class quest here. Just got to slay some of these guys. Oh. Melee Kev, I am the Melee Black Mage. I'm gonna turn in our class quest to see what they got to say. Tell me Kev, what action would you take if you found your thaumaturgical endurance exhausted in the midst of battle? Kev usually does this, but I think the right answer is flee. Or I don't know, I don't know what they're looking for here, but this is what Kev does. That's what Kev does, screw it. Yes, the scepter is certainly a lethal instrument of death. Your death. You, <laughs> you valorous fool, remember the first chapter. We do not close distance with our enemies. And we certainly do not hit them with our finely crafted tools of thaumaturgy. Oh, just your friendly neighborhood Kev here. Just, uh, delivering crumbling ginger cookies to the children that I do not know. But that is what I do. Kev, just making the world a better place, one cookie at a time. We got a cutscene here. This is the guy who hired me to give cookies to the children so they would leave him alone. <laughs> they say with enough money you can just change the laws here, so I'm going to make a fortune and do just that. I'll buy the excavation rights and start my own mining business. Then I'll give my fellow refugees the work they're crying out for and pay them fairly. So this guy's found a new place to excavate. He's uh he's com competing with, you know, a bigger organization here. I wonder if this is going to lead to um, a new instance, a raid, or, uh, you know, a small one. Anyway, the mining companies have profited from our suffering for too long, but in their hubris, they've grown complacent, presenting us with a golden opportunity, and we will take it, adventurer. We will reclaim our dignity and with it, our place within those walls. You should join me, my friend. Come and bear witness to history in the making. Cowabunga! Oh, I thought there was no fall damage in this game, but apparently there is. These mobs with the symbol over the head, that means they're a part of my hunting log here. Pretty cool little feature. I like it. Uh, gives you something to achieve, and there's different ranks, and each class has their own, so... Right, we're back here with our boy Weiston again. Let's see what he's got to say. He's glowing right now. Gonna be another instance fight. That sounds cool. Thal's b Thal's balls, son. A vein of ore in the middle of a ruined bloody city. God's damned idiot. What did you think was gonna happen? That you strike it rich and get cozy with the order? While the masters of Ulda looked on? No one crosses the syndicate. Oh, this is for Weiston. The, the syndicate? Yeah, that's the organization he's competing against anyway. Hey, I got a sleep spell. Looks like we got multiple mobs here. I'm ready for this. Ooh, who's that? Oh, mournful voice of creation. Grant ye this humble stone a soul that it may wake to life. Uh-oh, things be shaken. Is that a golem? Is that a stone golem? Are we about to fight this thing? This ain't uh, this ain't part of the plan. Bloody hells! Does Lord L does Lord Lolo Rito mean to kill us too? Oh snap! Don't worry, I'm gonna fight him. All right. Good thing Kev is tanky Kev right now, but um, this guy don't seem too tough. It'd be nice if I had someone to tank this for me, but he's not. He's not doing anything to us here. You are strong, but are you strong enough to withstand this? Oh snap! I uh, bound my transpose ability to my mouse. I'm trying that out. I've never done that in a in a game before. I've always kept it uh, on the numbers and everything. So we're gonna see how that goes. Impossible. Never has the golem been so sorely tested. Well, he hasn't met Kev because Kev is here now. That the golem could be vanquished. Never would have thought, huh? That man is no ordinary adventurer. No, no, I am not. Oh, he's gone. I guess they be doing that in RPG sometimes. Just, whoosh, just. God, yeah, I got I got magic tricks of my own as well. Oh, Talison, I forgot your your in-game name, Thancred. Damn, seems I missed. Yeah, dude, I could have used you to tank. 
I see you didn't need my help this time. I did not, Talison. Uh-oh. We have another vision here? Oh, are we going back in time? Things are looking very gray. Thancred says, I would compose a ballad in your honor, but I fear no words would do you justice. The songstress of Ulda herself could not rival your beauty. A mirthful maiden. Oh, stop it, Talison. I have oft heard it said that a blossom's beauty can move a man to love and long, but I never truly believed it until I met you two desert roses. Oh, Talison, you're making me blush. Uh, and we got some merchants talking to hear they attacked another caravan. I am business is suffering for it. Bloody Almaja, what stirred him up, do you reckon? Another raid, and I'll wager that caravan was carrying crystals much like the last. It's the Void! If they truly mean to summon a primal, we must act. So tell me, where in this marvel of a city might you lovely ladies be staying? Oh, this, this guy is... This guy is suave. He's like, yeah, screw the... Screw the imminent, uh... Death of our realm through whatever plot is beginning to hatch here. I must spend time with my mirthful ladies. At this rate, grain will soon be more precious than gold. A result of the uncommonly bad harvest, to be sure. And we have you to thank for them, do we not? Oh, Death Star in the sky. Aye, this weakening of the etheric flow must surely be linked to Dalamud's descent. I don't know if they explained some of this in the beginning, but I... A lot of lore. Luiso? Luis... Luiso? <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm gonna call him Luis. We, uh, we need only trust in his judgment. Okay. I was gonna say, you got a interesting looking mask there. Truly a marvel of Charlayan and Jew and ingenuity. It's as if I could reach out and touch the ether. What did he see with those spectacles of his? On the statue. Time to focus. No more gallivanting about like before. The scions are counting on you. Oh, he's going splinter cell up in here now. Hmm, this disturbance is recent. The Sultan Tree? Maybe Papa Sean will know something of it. Ah, Papa! I know Papa. Okay. The plot beginning to unfold. Nefarious plots and schemes unwinding. It's me. I was too late. Our person of interest had already quit the scene. The general? Very well, I shall be there anon. I got some uh, magical talkie talkie. Walkie talkie talkies. My colleagues went to great lengths to provide me with the means to detect etheric disturbances, but every time I find one, you seem to be in the middle of it. I'm starting to wonder if it might not just be simpler just to follow you around. The carefully laid trap you dismantled was clearly sanctioned by Lord Lolorito. <laughs> I heard the blades mention him as they fled. Believe me when I tell you that he is not a man to be trifled with. The Sultana's enemies grow bolder by the day, and I suspect they have the support of outside forces. I have yet to properly introduce myself. I am Thancred, a humble scholar surveying the flow of ether in Thenaland. Good to meet you, Talison. It is an honor and a privilege to make your acquaintance. I hope an ex when we meet is under more auspicious circumstances. Well, looks like it's all in a day's work for good old Kev here. Ah, wait a moment. It occurs to me that we may have... Never mind, fairly well. Well, we have met before. We may have met... In the past? I don't know. We may have something in common. We may have...